Here's my HTML CSS page. And as you can see, I've got unordered list tags here and the end unordered list tag here. And here's their data in between those two tags. They're encompassed within line and end line tags. Programming, calculus, and physics. If we run this now, run launch in Firefox. This is the default look. Programming, calculus, physics with these three dots. Let's change this. I use a UL selector to affect changes here in my list. Underneath style type equals text CSS. I'm going to use the selector, UL selector, open, close curlies. I'm going to key in the style type for my list that I want is a square. Run, launch in Firefox, and yo, homie got squares. I'm going to change this now from squares to circles. Notice it's plural. Run, launch in Firefox, and now I've got circles with a black fill. I'm going to change my code from circles, plural, to circle, singular. Let's see what happens. Run, launch in Firefox, and now I get circles, but they are they have a white fill. Now I'm going to change circles to uh, circle to Japanese characters, the katakana. Wow. Let's see what this looks like. Run, launch in Firefox, and now I get katakana characters. I'm going to change this again. The the style type from my list will now be decimal leading zero, decimal dash leading dash zero. Let's see what happens now. And I get zero one zero two zero three. I get leading zeros here. Wow. Well, let's keep this short. Thanks so much for listening. This is George Bull. Bye bye.